Today is all about how to look, live, and feel your best. And it can be especially tough to feel good when you have severe neck or back pain, just like Kate. I started having back pain in high school. After having um, numerous MRIs done, the doctors determined that I had some bulging discs. I was going to chiropractor regularly. We tried massage therapy, physical therapy, which didn't really help too much. The back and neck pain it really impacts how I can be with my kids. I, I can't get my son out of his crib because I can't pick him up. No, you want to hold them and you want to cuddle them. Okay. I can't do that. Um, I can't get up and go. Like I want to, my mind says, you can do this, go. My body says, no, you can't. You don't want to do anything. You just, you want to go lay down because then you know you can stay still. Having traditional back surgery, it, it's really intense and it's, there's a long recovery to it. I didn't want to take the extra time away from my kids to recover from that. So it just, it wasn't the answer for me. I'm excited that Dr. St. Louis and his technique really could help me move on with my life. I look forward so much to being able to play with my kids, run around with them, take my kids roller skating when they want to. And I think the surgery is really gonna be able to provide me the relief that I'm looking for. Kate went to see Dr. St. Louis to find out if laser spine surgery may help her become pain-free once and for all. Do you, uh, do you have any last-minute questions? No, I think I'm good. You should have it down by now. Right now, we are making a small skin incision, approximately a centimeter. We used one small incision to access two areas of the spine. I'm now placing the laser into the tube, which we will use a certain amount of energy to ablate the sensory nerves surrounding the facet joint, which will get rid of her back pain. I'm just uh, separating the muscles a little bit, getting the tube in the correct position. This white object is actually the bone covering the spinal cord. It's like the tunnel on top of the nerve. And we're cutting off the top of the tunnel and you can see the spinal cord. I'm using a cutting device to expose the nerve. We're finding a surprising amount of bone spurs that's pinching on the nerve and we've removed all that. Her muscles are, you know, pretty, pretty strong and thick, which is good. There's not a big hole left from cutting the muscles. So we finished the surgery, we went real well. Everything went as expected. Kate is here today along with Dr. St. Louis from the Laser Spine Institute in Tampa, Florida. I wanna welcome both of you. Okay. And before we get started, first things first, how are you feeling? I am feeling great. Symptoms are better? Uh, amazingly better. And, and explain to everyone what was causing Kate's pain. Sure, Kate's pain was caused by a pinched nerve in her neck and the pinched nerve caused pain to go from her neck and radiate down into her arm. And in her low back, she had some inflamed nerves that was causing rather severe back pain. So let's talk about the laser surgery that you performed. Sure. There's a picture of a uh, cervical spine, which is your neck. And you can see a series of tubes being uh, set down on top of the bone, which is the bone covering the spinal canal. And you can see insertion of the laser. The laser is used to remove the tissue around the spinal uh, bone. We use a series of instruments which open the tissue, remove the tissue, and open the bone that get into the that covered the uh, spinal canal and that covers the pinched nerve. And subsequently, we remove the tissue and the bone spur that was pinching the nerve. And will you show us the scar? Sure, be glad to. As you can see, the incision is only about a half inch to an inch. And this is what differentiates us significantly from open spine surgery. We're able to do the surgery through a series of dilating tubes, which allow us access without having to cut the muscle. Versus open surgery, you have to make a three to maybe six inch incision, and you have to actually tear some of the muscles out. With what we're doing, we separate the muscles when there's no requirement to actually tear the muscles to gain access to the problem that Kate had. So What's recovery look like for Kate then? It should be one to two weeks. At one to two weeks, she's pretty much returning to most of her activities. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I, I do have to say, you know, the NIH says that laser discectomy is still being debated. Sure. Does insurance cover this? Yes, insurance carriers cover this. What we do that separates us from many different centers is we actually remove the bone to get to the spinal stenosis. We actually take special surgical instruments to actually remove the offending bone and bone spurs versus just working on the disc. And we actually have Jody here who had this surgery done. And Jody, how are you feeling? I'm great. It was three years ago that I had this surgery, and it's like it never happened. I live a completely pain free life. I have no hardware in my neck like traditional surgery, and I get to be mom again. And I think that's the best part. We're glad that you're feeling good, and Kate, we're glad you're feeling good as well. Dr. <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate it. Coming up, if new pain is.